Today I'm in Elgin. We're about 35 minutes east of Austin, Texas, and this city was built in 1872, and it really feels like time has forgotten this city. It is full of marvelous architecture, so let's go and explore this cute little town. I'll give you more of the history of this town as we walk around. However, in a nutshell, this city of Elgin was created in 1872 by the Houston and Texas Central Railroads. And it was named after Robert Morris Elgin, who was the commissioner of the land development area. At the time, it was very customary to name cities after a prime member of the railroad building and construction committee. I'm really loving the feel of this town. And right now we've walked up to the city hall. This is a beautiful old building, obviously built right around 1870s, late 1800s. I love this architecture. It's just something you don't see often. And this is what I love about these small Texas towns. There's always some kind of a city hall or an old courthouse in the center of town that is just beautiful. Let's take a drive through scenic downtown Elgin and I'll tell you a little bit of the history of this cute little town. Many of the original residents of the new town of Elgin came from Perryville, which is located two miles to the south. In 1885, a new north-south railroad line was organized and Elgin became the beneficiary of two major rail lines with eight passenger trains daily. Then, by 1890, the population had reached a whopping 831 people and Elgin continued to grow and prosper. In 1900, a bumper crop of cotton helped to establish five cotton gins and a cotton oil mill, all in operation at the same time. The growth continued through the 1920s when most of the downtown brick commercial buildings were built. And that's what you see all around us, these gorgeous brick commercial buildings. They are just magnificent. Love driving through here. Today, Elgin is famous for the two products it's been making since 1882, reliable bricks and delicious hot sausage. Three brick companies are still operating in the Elgin area. Elgin has also gained a national reputation for its hot sausage. There are three local companies that produce over 3 million pounds of sausage annually, and I'm definitely going to go and try some of this sausage later on in this video. This guy had two military Humvees on his property. He had the pickup truck, and then around the corner, he had the troop carrier with both an American and a Texas flag on it. The city of Elgin is known best for two things, bricks and sausages. And right over here, I think we have two former brick factories. Now, these are really magnificent buildings. I'm really enjoying looking around them. However, I don't have any need for bricks, but I could put some sausage inside of me. Wait, that, that doesn't sound right. That doesn't sound right at all. I could eat some sausage. So I will try to find a place that has some sausage. But in the meantime, I want to check out some of these old factories of bricks. Not that I would know what a brick factory would look like. However, right across the street is another building that looks like it was some kind of a factory. And they have got a really cool looking old truck out front here. This thing looks like a drilling truck. Well, based on the sign on the side of it. And Texas is, of course, oil country. This thing is giant, quite magnificent. I'm not even sure if this thing runs anymore. How very interesting. This whole building is boarded up and I'm definitely not going to be trying to make entry in here, but there's still a lot of this town to go and explore. got to check out this place ATX homemade jerky and artisan market beef jerky galore so let's take a look and see what they have in here quite a big selection of jerky hats all sorts of good stuff we've got original peppered spicy peppered different flavors teriyaki marmalades sauces this is very Texas very cool little place and I would always encourage you guys to support small shops and every place that we go to today in my video I will put a link in the description below in case you want to go check it out Super nice shop, very nice owner. Thank you guys, best of luck, take care. All right guys, let's continue on with the tour of this downtown of Elgin. 
By the 1980s, proximity to Austin had begun to attract commuters to Elgin. In the mid-1980s, the Elgin Courier was still being published, the sausage had achieved wider fame, and two brick and tile plants were still in operation. Elgin was also the site of a furniture plant and a leather works. The Elgin Commercial Historic District includes 14 city blocks of commercial and industrial buildings. Most of these buildings are constructed of locally produced brick and were erected from 1872 to 1947. The Elgin Commercial Historic District was added to the National Register of Historic Places in 1906. Now, within this 14-block district, there are 67 buildings which are considered contributing structures. And a contributing structure is one which has maintained its architectural integrity. During the past 14 years, private property owners, business owners, and the public sector have invested about $9 million in the downtown area. The Elgin Main Street program provides a variety of incentives to building owners, such as a discounted paint program, free dumpsters, and free advice on architectural design and restoration. Elgin became a Texas Main Street city in 1990, and in 1999, 2000, and 2001 was selected as a national Main Street community. Main Street is a national approach to saving small Texas towns heritage by preserving historic downtown areas. Each year, three cities are selected by the Texas Historical Commission and the Annis Reed Main Street Center to become Main Street cities. Communities make a commitment to hire a staff person, provide office space, supplies, and a small budget. The primary commitment is to preserving and revitalizing the historic commercial business district. Having lived in Austin for a year before moving to Thailand, I spent many days driving around and exploring these picturesque little towns. There's just something very relaxing and heartwarming about walking around these old downtown areas, sitting down in the parks, going into the little shops, and just enjoying the peaceful nature of an era gone by. Now, I'm really starting to get hungry, so let's go find a place and try some of this famous sausage that Elgin is known for couldn't come to Elgin and not try their famous sausage. So let's go over here to Meyer's Barbecue and get some lunch. All right, I'm excited to try this barbecue and see what they have here. Still a little early for lunch, which is okay. We'll get the whole place to ourselves. Meyer's began making sausage back in 1915, and everything at this place looked so good. All of these menu boards with all of these options really made me hungry. I really wanted to get the barbecue platter, but it was just too big. So let's get some food, get a drink, sit down, and enjoy. This is very dangerous for me. I love pickles. Look at this bar. We got pickles, onions, even pickle spears, everything you can take for your lunch or dinner as much as you want. I got myself the three meat plate with the pork garlic sausage, some pork ribs, as well as a quarter smoked chicken, coleslaw, potato salad, and it came with bread. And of course, I had to hit the giant pickle bar and get a bunch of pickles. Got my drink, got our paper towels, hot sauce. Let's try this delicious looking food. Boy, am I excited for this feast. Oh, I don't even know what to try first. The sausage. We are in a town that is known for its sausage, and I got garlic pork. And I'm just gonna try it without any sauce on it, just try it by itself. Mmm, that is delicious. Crispy on the outside. You can taste the garlic in it. Oh, that is really good sausage. I'm dying to give these ribs a try, guys. Quite good. Moist, nice crust on the outside very flavorful, even without the hot sauce. And last, but certainly not least, is gonna be the chicken. Very happy with that, super moist. This is excellent. Mm, just love potato salad. Not too much mayonnaise, really just right. And the coleslaw, I'm kinda of going a little bit lighter on the sides because I'm eating so much other stuff. This place is good. Oh man, the chicken is just so good. All of this is spectacular. And this whole plate came out to be $19, which I think for barbecue is very reasonable because at most places for a three meat plate, you're gonna pay 30 or more dollars for sure. Well, that was delicious barbecue. All of that food was so good. I'm so full. And like I mentioned, for the price of $19 for all that, that's a good bargain compared to what you normally have to pay for barbecue here in Texas.
I hope you enjoyed this tour of this little town of Elgin here in Texas. Guys, please make sure you take care of yourselves. Check out some of my other videos and I'll see you all very soon in another episode.